Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can update, combine or move your license key to a different machine. But first things first, all our software comes in a single installer. It is in the end only the license key that determines your actual product. Meaning, if you installed, say, Assimilate Scratch and license that, and now want to license LifeLux for example, you do not need to reinstall the software. Just swap out or combine your license keys. Here's how to do that. To start, let's take a look at the MyAssimilate portal under myassimilate.assimilateinc.com. Your account here will be created automatically when ordering any of our products. In here, all purchased keys will be listed. Here we have a license key for Scratch. Let me select it by triple clicking the key and copy it to the clipboard using Ctrl or Command C. When starting up any of our software products, the first thing you'll see is the license dialog. Inside the license dialog, simply hit the paste button to paste your license key and hit activate. The software will need a restart and once it's back up, it will be licensed as Scratch. Now, in my MyAssimilate account, I also have a key for Live Looks. Let's copy that. Back inside Scratch, we can now open the license dialog again from the startup screen. However, instead of just hitting paste now, we rather click the add button and the Live Looks key is added to the Scratch key instead of replacing it. If we now hit activate and let the software restart, it seems like nothing's changed. However, if we take a closer look at the startup screen here and on the left side, we can find a new button that will take us to LifeLux. So now we have both products licensed. But what if we want to use Scratch on a different machine and only use our LifeLux license on this machine? In that case, we need to deactivate our licenses from this machine. To do so, we first need to unlock both licenses inside our MyAssimilate account using the wrench icon and hitting the unlock button. This is simply a measure to prevent license theft, so nobody can just check out a license from your system without you allowing for it. So this one is important. You can only activate any license key on a different machine if two things happened. A. It got unlocked inside MyAssimilate and B it got deactivated from the original machine. Keep that in mind, especially when formatting any of your machines. Back to our setup. Once unlocked, we can now deactivate the licenses in here and have the software restart. Now we can paste in just the LiveLux key and hit activate. Upon restart, the software will now come up just as LiveLux and we can use the scratch key on a different machine. Now back in our MyAssimilate account, we can now choose to lock the keys again so they can't be easily moved. Of course, if we have to move our license keys between machines more frequently and we are safe that no one else will grab them, we can as well leave the licenses unlocked so we can move them by just deactivating and reactivating them without the need to unlock them first every time. One last thing I want to mention. As you can see, there is also a lock files button here in the license dialog. Clicking it will open the lock files folder on your machine. Whenever you encounter a problem, be it with licensing or a technical issue of any kind, please include a lock file in your email to support at assimilateinc.com. The lock file we are interested in is typically the assimilated.lock. Which one to grab depends on how many sessions back the issue you encountered lies. The assimilator log without a number in the file name is the log file from the ongoing session or last session if you already closed the software. Assimilator.1.log is the one from the session before, the log file with the number 2 from the session before that and so on. Assimilator.10.log being the oldest log file from 10 sessions back. Best practice is, if you have a reproducible case, to start the software, reproduce the issue hit the log files button and then close the software and send us the assimilator.log with the steps it takes to reproduce the issue. This will greatly help us to track down bugs, because only what we can reproduce, we can also fix. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.